Well, hello, beautiful Geminis. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you guys so much for all your contributions to the channel. Liking, commenting, and subscribing. I truly appreciate it. Geminis, I want to pull on this deck for you today. I don't know. I've been getting such explicit messages like in all the reads. I'm like, why does the past keep coming up? And Spirit is saying it is because until rights are wrong, you know, all the wrongs have been righted until you have received justice. So what's going on for Gemini? Those who have been hurt receive justice. Put it to you that way. Not every Gemini has had injustice done to them. So it is about, we're hearing about past situations because there has been a disaster, a storm, and somebody is hostile, and somebody is listening to the universe. A victory. Man holding a coin. Woman holding a coin. What the heck is this all about? Angel of strength here. Why are they so... I don't know. It could be a Leo. We've got the sun and the strength. Somebody is hostile. Somebody is angry. That they were thinking somebody has manipulated them. The door to spirit is here. Somebody is getting the big picture here. Uh, about a third party. <sighs> Angel of love is here. Communication is here. They want to heal. They didn't want to lose somebody. They did not. They want to take action to heal something. Seeing someone's value. <laughs> Damn. Yin and yang. I I can't get, I just ask why the universe keeps bringing up the past person. It's because they're hostile. They're hostile they were manipulated by a magician a th uh, an illusionist a third party caused a tower in a spiritual union and they're hostile that's why we're picking up on their energies they're pissed off that something has ended they went to an illusion they went to a third party who destroyed their union are they so hostile they did it <laughs> if they went to a third party they should be angry at themselves i don't understand why it's so hard to figure out what's going on here they were tempted, but they're coming out of that temptation. Hmm. Waiting game. Someone's opened up their intuition. Well, they've lost a bunch of money. <laughs> they thought it was going to be prosperous, and they're feeling an emotional loss. They sacrificed their, obviously, the, something that was for them. <laughs> they get slammed hard with finances. That's why they're angry. They sacrificed a spiritual union, no wonder. <laughs> oh, this is something that was destined and faded. 
they thought it was love, but it was temptation. It was for sexual gratification, and now they become aware of something, and they are in mental conflict. Trapped in fear, going through a transformation, trying to rest and recover and heal. What the hell? holding on to their spiritual partner that they would have had a victory with and a success with. They would have had a triumph. This person is in solitude now, like you are, or whoever the energy is that was given up for a third party men or women or masculine or feminine it doesn't matter it's whoever got given up for a third party whosoever person went to a third party they were manipulated and they're figuring it out i think archangel michael is giving this person insight is giving this person awareness that they had a spiritual union and now they are hostile that they fell into temptation they don't like their life they were manipulated into something yes they were manipulating i'm not picking up for that person i mean we all have this in our life every one of us at some point of our life are tempted to do the wrong thing. They did. And now they're coming out of it, figuring something out. They would have had a victory with their yin and yang partner. They would have had a victory. Yes, they would have. That's the truth. They would have had a victory had they listened to their own intuition. But that's that King of Wands energy that's always in your reads, Gemini. This is a person, yes, they're upright. Yes, they're a leader. But they're led by their passions and this person fell into temptation you know that's the only thing about the king of wands that is a problem whether it's a feminine or a masculine they're led by their passions they don't always think before they act I don't know. That's not a damned awareness. You know what I mean? That's that awareness. That's being aware. patience this is temperance this is balance the scales got to be balanced out somehow it's all about balance polarity yin and yang balance 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 in three cards Why? Because they're broke. They're going through financial changes. I don't know. They're going through a tower with this Ten of Cups situation. All right? I don't know. There could be, 
you know, a secretive family situation somewhere else, or this person was leading a dual life, started a family somewhere else, left their spiritual partner out in the cold, could be children in the past, being secretive in the past, they actually could have a secret family somewhere else with children. Oh my God. So this person ended something or something came to an end with their soulmate thinking that this was their soulmate. In the past, they definitely were being deceptive. To their soulmate, but this they were thinking this was their soulmate, but it's not their soulmate. They're in love with. I don't know what the hell this is. Somebody could have conceived a child. Now they want to work on the spiritual. They're in love with their spiritual partner. It's that simple. They want to talk. I don't know. They could have started talking to someone else. Yeah, now it's like... What's going on with this other lover? So they started talking to another lover. Or having sex with someone else but someone at a distance started talking to someone at a distance a long distance relationship no doubt thinking this was you know their soulmate but you know for a fact when things start, oh my God, I'm losing all my money. Oh my God, I'm getting financial problems. Oh my God, I'm getting this problem, getting hit hard. You know that's a karmic love. Karmic cycle. Reaping what they've sown. This is karmic. Somebody was gaslighting and manipulating. Okay. There are an emperor that wants to come in reverse. Those, so they were somebody who is unascended. Someone who is in their low vibrational energy. They went to a low vibrational karmic. Told ya. Why now either the karmic energy is betraying them, manipulating them, creating chaos and conflict in their life. Or they put their spiritual partner and betrayed them and put them in a competition. But I'm kind of thinking that this person made the wrong choice. <laughs> they would have had it all. Went to something low vibration. They were in their low vibrational energy. I don't know. Juggling. Trap with a child. I'm telling you right now. They didn't 
want to accept the offer that was presented to them, which was a blessing. So they chose something else, you know. They would have had it all. This was a legacy of light. This was a legacy. But they did something foolish and entered into a karmic relationship. You know, maybe thinking it was friends with benefits or maybe it was because a friend introduced them. They started talking to this person online at a distance. It was karmic. Being greedy. Seeking passion. Somebody walked away. Pushed them away. And now they're angry. Someone trusted their intuition. <clears throat> you know, when you're dealing with this high priestess energy, this is she who knows. Like, especially if it's a spiritual connection, like you just know when your partner is doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And maybe they got angry. And maybe this person started to push them away because they were getting angry. Who wouldn't be angry? That's the truth. They were given to do. They were being a player. They would add a victory. But they treated him as an option. There you go. Someone young. Someone immature. No doubt someone they could control. They had someone stable. They had someone loyal. They had someone dedicated. Grounded. Trustworthy. And they went to someone who they thought was going to have some coin here. Mm. Selfish. Immature. Reckless behavior, you know. I don't know. They could have ghosted an empress. Or they felt like this is a person who needs constant attention when they get bored or when they get lonely. They like to do reckless things. They started cheating and broke their spiritual person's heart. They went looking elsewhere you know, like they were single, come across this, started talking or collaborating. Oh, what's this? Yeah, they're in their ego. Denying. There you go. Manipulating. Playing mind games. Told you. This is King of Wands. You know, they might look good on the outside, might look like they have uh, good intentions and all that, but their focus was on going. Focus was on passion here. They're, they're a deceiver. They're a liar. And they went to somebody who was lying to them. So now it's like... We're just all worried about the money. Worried about sex and worried about money. And now they're reaping their karma. And it's like... Someone is stressing out here. 
They're heavily burdened with whoever they went to. They're going broke. They are going broke. And they're going to end up alone. That's their karma. They're going to end up alone. Low vibrational. Other lovers are going to end up dumping their ass. Or they're going to dump the other lover's ass. I don't know. I'm just saying that they're getting enlightened. They would have had it all. They would have had the whole shebang here. They would have had a victory. They would have had wish fulfillment. This empress became, look, this empress became wealthy. Unlimited access to money. But when this person knew them, they were the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. A hard worker, working, working hard, 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 hard. They thought that this Empress, they could do better elsewhere. Went for a shiny toy, something that glittered, something glittery. Well, ain't working out. You know, the passion is dying out when the responsibilities come in, especially if there's children involved. Like, you know, Annette, maybe this emperor was going through like a midlife crisis or something, trying to act youthful, trying to pretend they were young at heart, you know what I mean? Uh, doing things on impulse recklessly, it's like... The passion wears out when you get all the responsibilities of home and family life. You know, the kids will take the passion out of any relationship, most of them, coupled with financial obligations and responsibilities and poverty. You add it all together. This person is trying to live high on the hog. They're running out of money. I, I don't even think there's any passion left. I don't even know if this person, because they're going through so many towers, their money is in reverse. Where's the passion? When you start getting the reality of life, when the kids start crying and you got to provide all the clothes and the shoes and the diapers and the paying all the bills. I guess the fun's gone out of the passion. They're not prosperous wherever they began. Everything is in reverse. Maybe they, they can't even have sex anymore. They're so worried about money. They're losing their shirt. That's why they're so angry because they ended something that they thought was going to make them happy. You know, they went for the glitter. You know, thought they were going to be victorious. No, they were manipulated. Okay, they were the manipulator, but the manipulator went to a manipulator. They were lying about their finances. They were lying about their resources. And they be, maybe be, be lying about children. Who knows? But they're hostile. They're angry. Because they are not victorious. They're losing everything that they've worked for. Paying now for everything. What the hell? I don't feel sorry for this person. I'm sorry. Like, a part of me has empathy. But, you know, we all are faced with that temptation. At some point in our life, all of us, every one of us, this person went for it, probably because they are the king of wands. Yes, they're a leader. Yes, they're a go-getter. Yes, but they are passionate. But they're led by their passions. And unless they got something else to balance out their energy, you know, but in this case, 
it was earth energy now earth energy can ground you normally you're very loyal you know what I mean? Stable, grounded. And this person seems to have earth energy in their chart. They could be like a Leo, Virgo, you know. They've got earth in their chart. They're not just the King of Wands. They have earth in their chart. And that's usually good when it comes to stability and groundedness. So yes, they might be led by their passions, but if they have um, earth in their chart, it'll usually ground them out, you know, offset that drive. But this person... has a huge ego and it is their ego that gets to them you know usually that energy is very loyal very dedicated very uh, committed I don't know what made this person go into temptation, but they were enticed into it. They were manipulated into it. And if they're not in their upright energy, if they are unascended, they're not in their high vibrational energy, they're in their low vibrational energy. And they did something really reckless that they regret. They were being karmic in nature. So that's why they went to a karmic. They were being karmic -y themselves, you know. They weren't in their upright position. They were in their low vibrational energy. That's why they went to a third party. You know, secretly, maybe this person was being very deceptive because they were envious of their partner. You know what I mean? Maybe they tried to make their partner jealous by entertaining a third party. Figuring, you know, they were in their low vibrational energy. They were just unascended. They were in their, they weren't in, <clears throat> they had not awakened. They had not awakened. They were showing off. This person didn't know how to be alone. They like a lot of attention. They went to this karmic energy. Maybe had children with them or there's children involved somehow. It's not their soulmate. It's a karmic. And they're going to be taught a karmic lesson in a big way. Take care.